for the six of us in attendance and the dozens watching from home, it's time. The Fastball Special is proud to present Sketchelmania 20, Paint It Red. Coming into the ring tonight from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 120 pounds, Megan, Magical Soldier, Carter. Welcome, Megan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Currently you hailing better in from Spain. Taste what we're cooking up. Uh oh. <laughs> Was that? <laughs> Uh, currently hailing in from Spain by way of Dubai and Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 200 pounds, Danish the Dish, Mohuddin. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Returning from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, <laughs> weighing in at 160 pounds, Satanic Sam Noir. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own sound effects. Wow. All right. We're going we're going to take a chance here. Nope. <laughs> 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 we're going to show him anyway. <laughs> From parts unknown, aka Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 275 pounds. I could say whatever I want cuz I don't think you could hear me. Calman, Misty Deadline. Andrasovsky. <laughs> and finally, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, once again, weighing in at an even 450 pounds, Marcus Twinkle Toe. Twinkle Toe. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and finally, weighing in at none your business, yours truly, <laughs> Slam Duncan. Hello, everyone. Let me see hello. if I can I, I could help with uh, hello, Calvin hello. here. Calvin, can we hear you? All right, I can straighten this out finally. Oh, is Are everything you guys getting fixed? audio from me? Yeah. We wow. solved all the problems. Whoa! Wow, sweaty, misty Under deadline pressure. panic. <laughs> Thank you. Misty, misty deadline. We didn't quite misty deadline. We just thank you to the IT it. department. I really, the lovely, thank you very the much. The IT department uh, came and lent a hand. We can officially. Although she did advise the... putting a pair of uh, Mac earbuds into her PC, so we have questions uh, about the IT department's credentials. <laughs> but that's the, that's, ultimately, that's the, the whole thing was successful. So that's <laughs> that, that's the secret sauce, guys. Mac earbuds. Crossing the beams. That's crossing the um, beams. All right. Yes, so as per as per usual, we are going to lower the cage. There is no way out. Here so it comes. I love that you added seventy five there to the weight there, bud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's a short guy problems. You always look heavier than you are. Well, well, Marcus is in at four hundred and fifty, so <laughs> it's got a little bit of that COVID coming it's in. Called, it's the ego covers most of that weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's all hot air. <laughs> All right. Oh, smack top starting. Here we go. We're lowering the cage. We're lowering the cage. We spare no expense on this show, guys. <laughs> I think that was a cage. And we have managed to uh, round up a room full of uh, fresh meat this week, uh, Martin. Pretty much, yes, yes. All, 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 all newcomers, except for Mr. Except for the satanic one, and myself. I'm here every week. <laughs> all Pretty right, much. you're you're here every month, yes. Uh, so this is Sketchelmania 20. I can't believe we. This is our 20th one. So this is awesome. Um, the the theme tonight is red because we are um, we are going to be supporting the Red Door charity. Um, I believe this was your idea, Marcus, wasn't it? Yeah, more or less. More or less. 
Okay. It was um, one of the charities that my uh, my partner uh, supports, and uh, you know, knowing um, and you know, talking with it uh, to her about uh, the Red Door Project, it does it does resonate with me as well. And you know that uh, you know everyone deserves a safe um, place to go to, and in, in these kind of times, it's uh, you know it's hard for a lot of people. So yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's a very worthy cause. So I was I was more than happy to to uh, to help help support that for sure. Um, I know there's quite a few uh, uh, red doors. I, I I looked a little bit into it. Um, every time we do one of these, and there's a new charity we haven't done yet. Uh, so it looks like there's there's quite a few different houses, and uh, they do a lot of good work there. So so uh, awesome. And thanks everyone for for coming in tonight and and supporting it. But uh, yeah, we'll do some round tables. We'll see what's going on, what's cooking. Um, I'm gonna put some, uh, we have some comments already, guys. So I'm gonna sort of read them out as we go. And I'll do a little bit of, uh, uh oh, I hear some echo. <laughs> Is that Calman again? Is that Calman? I can hear everyone, but I can't hear Martin unless I turn on the other audio for some reason, his audio is not coming through. Everyone's perfect and he's like. <laughs> oh no. So. Really? Okay. Martin, I Sorry. need you to wave if you're asking me a question. So I, I, I will. I will. The other volume for a minute. I got you. Otherwise, carry maybe, on as you were. Maybe I'll just repeat uh, Martin's yeah. question. There you go. <laughs> sure. I've got yeah, one too. job. It's done. She sells. She <laughs> sells by the seashore. She sells. She sells by the seashore. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, Ryan Jablonski says, "Hey guys." Hey Ryan. He's a, a buddy of mine. He's always been a really good. Support great supporter of you know comics and other things and me and studio and everything like that so he's good good cat <laughs> right on uh we have court Carp carpenter in the house hey oh yeah. hey court uh deep river geek fest deep river geek fest hey, is it's court carpenter it's court carpenter <laughs> uh deep river geek so fest Marvel has been at most of these also known as j j crawford at j crawford yes um <laughs> ryan says laugh my ass off chad park chad park a oh, regular chad. as well what's up folks the spawn of many faces uh court saying big time fx the war game steel cage hey chad don't give away the secrets man <laughs> we, we 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 uh we bought that steel cage just for sketchel mania <laughs> Uh, Marcus, you will yes. not live down Twinkle, Twinkle Toe. I could tell you uh, how I got that name if you want to. Yes, and we're gonna we're gonna give you the Does spotlight it as, you, as you say that. Blades? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting. Oh, sorry. So <laughs> these these are really really dumb like chill kids games that we used to play. They were relatively quite dangerous. Uh, okay. <laughs> but one of my friends had a trampoline. We were mm. kids, and obviously that's like the worst, yeah, <laughs> the worst thing you could have. Death and machines. we used to play this game, and so we're not very. None of my friends had a lot of money, uh, but he, you know, he had one thing that was, you know, a little bit more, which is obviously the the trampoline. But he, <laughs> but we only had one pair of boxing gloves. <laughs> oh, here we go. And we were just Trampoline like and boxing, and boxing gloves, and we thought it would be really fun to um, basically box on the trampoline. Yep. And um, so uh, <laughs> we started. We it's very dangerous, <laughs> un unbelievably dangerous. <laughs> we would, we would, we would each have one glove and box each other with one hand, and in one hand tied behind our backs. And so, so and then we on on the trampoline. Yeah, right. but we, oh. you know we're all right-handed, so we kind of, <clears throat> you know, kind of took turns which who would have with the right glove as opposed to the left glove. And nice. uh, and yeah, so we came up with uh, boxing names for each other, and I was they came up with Twinkle Toe, because uh, my last name is Toe, obviously. And then, and then I never used it again since then. But it was, and you know, the goal of it 
was always to try to double bounce the other person, and then when he came down, you'd uppercut him. Yeah. And that was the go-to move that we all tried to do on each other, which, again, was incredibly dangerous. Was that like the Ken, Ken and Ryu? Like the try to shoot him up in the air? Yeah, basically. <laughs> right on. I can just tell you there were probably a ton of... Uh, a ton of undocumented concussions, <laughs> for sure. Very good. That's why you're so good at drawing, I think. And, and not as good as reading. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Stephanie Lyon says, hola, uh, aloha, artists. Hello. Aloha. Uh, Jup Jupiter Rock, shout Rocket. To, shout out to Stephanie. Shout out to Stephanie. Creator of Shelly, a YA uh, character. Yeah, I did. Uh, she did a uh, Kickstarter a while back, I think. And yeah, I, yeah. I got that, for that one. Working yeah. on a D and D thing, I believe, is the latest. yes, yes. Looking forward to that. Right on. Jonathan Kochiba. Jonathan. <laughs> I think you should bring back one hand tram boxing. Yeah. <laughs> I think we found our, our next month's theme, folks. <laughs> I was I was a I was very much an aggressive child, let's just say that. Drawing was uh, <laughs> drawing wasn't necessarily high on well, I mean I drew a lot as a kid, obviously, but if there was one thing I really liked doing was playing uh, contact sports. Nice. Is he Jonathan like punching drawing? people, eh? Punching other kids? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because I, you know, like I, I never liked actually hitting people, right? But I like <laughs> safely hitting people. If that oh, makes okay. sense. Yes. Very good. So Play I'm wondering hockey is... and football and stuff like that. So. Is Jonathan drawing anything at home? Jonathan, let us know. You know, I haven't drawn. <laughs> I haven't drawn uh, on paper for <laughs> a long time. Is, is is everybody going digital? Is that like the thing, or is just what's uh, most I don't fo think, most yeah. folks in the studio are digital these days, aren't they? A lot of us do both. It just really depends on the project. Um, but I would say uh, that. It's more and more common because you know the, a lot of the things that are, are are way more accessible now than they used to be. Right. Oh, I'm sure it's come a long way, like any technology. Oh yeah. But it makes it easier, you know what I mean? Like it's it's just it's not easier in the sense of like drawing itself is easier, but the the job becomes easier in the sense that. The job doesn't just include um, drawing. The job includes, you know, file preparation and and sending, making sure that like uh, the 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 kind of mundane stuff like uh, changes and and uh, color notes and all this other stuff. It makes it easier to handle kind of like the curveballs that uh, go your way. Like when right. we were younger, like Helman and I talk about this. Uh, when we used to have to like rush to beat the FedEx deadline to ship out our pages before the end of the day. <laughs> Remember, Kelvin, oh my like, god! The stories of like uh, rushing to the airport one because the, the the local FedEx was not open, and then the the one at the airport is like uh, open later, so you have just that extra hour or two. Yeah, there was a cutoff for when you could book the guy to come and get it. And then there was a cutoff of when you could drop it off at a FedEx location. And then if you misdeed both those deadlines, there was the final deadline at the Central Depot that you could hit. <laughs> that was just before everything like got put on a plane. And that was like an hour later. And that was always, luckily I lived, it was at the bottom of Sherborne Street and I lived at the top of Sherborne Street. So it was harrowing bike rides <laughs> down Sherborne with uh, the art burned on CD because we were high tech enough that I wasn't actually shipping art. It was scanned, <laughs> right. burned on CD, but then that still had to fly somewhere else. And yeah, literally like sometimes with seconds to spare, I just collapse on the lawn in front of FedEx and stare at the <laughs> sky with my heart pounding out of my chest because I just made it. I didn't. And, I didn't realize yeah. artists were like so death-defying. 
Well, this is crazy. that's the thing about what I was just saying about like um, just the idea that it makes the job easier. Do you know what I mean? Right, right, not right. The job, and and the thing that you realize after you've been drawing, you know, professionally after a certain amount of hours or years or whatever, <laughs> the job entail the easiest part of your day sometimes is the, just the drawing part. Is all the other crap that you gotta have to like figure out how to do. I find that it's it it becomes more of an issue than than the drawing, but right. That's my opinion on it. <laughs> Neil McAholm wants to know who's draw who's drawing the Kool Aid Man. Is someone oh, drawing that's a good Kool-Aid idea? <laughs> and now oh, we yeah. all are Neil. Thank you. Is that is that? <laughs> it seems like something Danish Danish would would draw, right? Danish. Uh, uh, Kool Aid Man. Yeah. What yeah. Uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I yes, it is a Kool Aid man. Exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's let's do a round table. Let's see what people are drawing tonight. Uh, I guess we'll start with you, uh, Danish. Let me let me yeah you up here. What do what are you Tonight. drawing? Is that the Kool Aid man? Uh, no, it's not. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I let I let it like leave it. I you'll see it as it comes along. Um, oh. I do, I paint it with my fingers because I don't have nice. a fat I don't have a fat brush. Well, I just saw one, but then I like I just kind of like the the texture that comes from painting with your finger. Um, cool. And now I'm just trying to see if this works or if it's going to be a complete disaster. <laughs> I I, I but, bet you it's going to look good. So it's a secret, basically. It'll reveal itself throughout the evening. Yeah, yeah. That All way, right. if it doesn't turn out, then I can just say whatever you think it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam, are you drawing with us tonight? You know what? I'm going to try to. I've got uh, I currently got a blank piece of paper in front of me, but uh, okay. Actually, what's Casey drawing tonight? Oh, K- Casey. I don't know. Is Casey in the audience? Uh, if he has, he has it. He has. Hey, it. Neil. Put a chat in. But if you are, shout out to Casey. And uh, I'm drawing whatever Casey's drawing. Fair. We all are. That's and it's my, Kool-Aid Man, apparently. That's my go-to. <laughs> Although, if anyone out there wants to draw Marcus uh, on a on a trampoline with a boxing glove. With a super uppercut. Just one. Just one. Just one. Yeah. And with one his glove. Arm tied behind we didn't have back. money to buy two. Or two pairs. <laughs> you see. Yeah. Two. That's some bougie nonsense. Yeah. That... <laughs> That doesn't even seem like a challenge anymore. Hey, there's red again. (laughs) Uh, Let's head over to Megan. Is in red deer, right? Uh, Hey. Whoops. I I actually. uh, I'm still getting used. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah. That's nice, Megan. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. That looks fantastic. Okay, cool. Nice volumes. I love it. I'm drawing Raphael. Raphael. With his red mask? Genius. Red, no, it uh, won't be a red mask. Yeah, Raphael's the only <laughs> one that's red, red in both versions. I mean, could be. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Oh, no Skittles what? turtles. Honestly, Just one of the weird. hardest jobs. I'm picking up on the camera. What? <laughs> One of the hardest jobs it is doing this is is I want to buy all of these usually when they're done, <laughs> but, but I'm I'm happy it's all. Megan, it's gonna... you and I are both drawing characters that use the same weapon. Well, oh, all right. Let's head over. Let's head over to Calvin. Oh, Calvin, uh, your turn. Calvin, can you guys hear me when I talk? Yep. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. I think you just can't I just hear can me. I only hear about half of you, so apologies <laughs> if I'm, I'm talking over people now and then. I, it's uh, okay. I cannot hear some of you. What? I, I'm. But what, yes, a hint. Uh, yeah. Ma- ma- the character I'm drawing uh, employs the same weapon as the character Megan is drawing. And wears red. And wh- is known to wear red by, by coincidence. Yeah, that's that's an accident, <laughs> though. I just chose that by accident. Has no, also, of course I didn't. Has I, also uh, worn white and black on occasion. This is true. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the first Marvel U entry I have of her, she's wearing white, which confused me for many years. You know, ah, old handbook from '81 or whatever. Oh wow! Okay. That's After cool. she climbed the mountain. 
Yeah, so we got a little hourglass starting. It's coming together. Right, right on. And you're going, you're going deep, Brett. big, but I don't want to muck around with it too much. We'll see when we uh, add the rest. Yeah. Looks like I, I would say uh, Jonathan Kachuba and Deep River have uh, guessed correctly what Calvin's doing. <laughs> yes, I dropped right. uh, some very uh, difficult <laughs> to uh, <laughs> untangle him. Oh, so in red costume, where with size? <laughs> Who Where's the headscarf? <laughs> Is Greek. Yeah. If you don't know, you shouldn't be watching. <laughs> uh, Mike I'd Ruth says to eat nachos. That's no. right. <laughs> Mike Ruth says, "Hey, looking good." Thanks, Ruth. Uh, Court says, "Raf, yep." Oh, I can finally hear someone. Fan of Raf. Is Mike drawing tonight? Uh, I don't know. Are you having Mike. audio problems too, Megan? I can hear Megan. I can hear. I've only been able to hear Duncan for like the last like twenty minutes. Now I can only hear you. Yeah, I hear everyone <laughs> but Duncan. <laughs> This whole time. <laughs> yeah, someone's talking to me right now. I can't hear anything. This is a unique problem. <laughs> wow. I, can hear you I don't think this it. has ever happened before. No, I'm not relieved at all. that it's not just me, which takes, you know, I, thought, I thought I was just a tech tard. <laughs> there are two streams happening. There are two universes happening here uh, in parallel with each other. I don't, I don't know what it would be specifically. If I know that, like, at one point, the stream was saying, I tap here to hear audio when he was showing like a different screen and I tapped the audio and maybe that just like ruined me for the night my hubris <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's a challenge maybe we can text uh, Calvin and Megan I'm too scared uh, to fix anything or touch anything so uh, Neil says that looks cool but I, don't, I don't know why it just changed but He's well, cool, yeah. but rude. Turtles are awesome. See, now I know. I don't know if anybody could hear me. <laughs> I can hear you. All and right. Then, uh, someone wants Thanks, to man. know. Someone wants to know what you're drawing, my friend. What am I drawing? Yeah. Uh, I'll give a a, a clue, like Calman. Uh, he's incredible. <laughs> uh, is he a Mister? Is yeah, he he is indeed a mister. <laughs> well, my I don't this think my go... drawing my drawing won't be incredible. Oh, I'm but... sure it'll be amazing. Yeah, mm, no. you could actually go either way with uh, the incredible hint, since there uh -huh. is a, a oh. red, red version of the green one. I I was not even that clever. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of the red version of the I green one. Like yeah, so quietly. was I. Oh, I wasn't even that clever. Sorry. Or maybe I'm just hearing it feeding through your audio. Man, I forgot how to draw. There's like, <laughs> honestly, drawing on paper stresses me out so much more than a computer <laughs> nowadays. Ryan, Ryan is saying Ruth is always drawing. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. true. I think uh, he draws Mike more than breathing, all of us. <laughs> he's drawing. That's true. Is Ruth drawing with a pine cone tonight, or maybe a, a <laughs> feather, or he's broken uh, action oh, figure shell. gun? A That's an action figure, yeah. Uh, he's drawing a special variant cover. Ah. Yeah, Marcus, we haven't seen what you're drawing. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't matter what I'm drawing. Oh, oh come on. I think got? it's obvious. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Since I'm on a X book, I've been uh, I've been more. You know, this this was an interesting thing. Like I, I I thought about like oh well, should I just you know go with my go to red, which is Red Robin, obviously, uh, a character you're known for. And then I decide to draw something that I almost never draw. So <laughs> so this is probably also what's like I forget how to do any of this. You know, I from a certain point though. of view, there's a connection between uh, the characters you and I are drawing too, Marcus. Yeah. Is there? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Nationality, I guess. No, well, wait, I think not he, I think he's Russian, but Omega is definitely a Greek letter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... see, Kalman here bringing the knowledge. That that's always the case, man. He's <laughs> always dropping some 
some knowledge on us uh, mere mortals. Useless, annoying mm. facts. <laughs> I'm never something flowing. I'm trying something <laughs> incredible. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah, that's I, I love that character. All right, let's. There we go. All right. Uh, Marcus doing Omega Red, yes. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan wants to know if I'm drawing Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I guess he was incredible. Is he red? Uh, yeah, some Omega Red going on, some Omega Red. Yeah, I think people have got it. That's my guess. <laughs> Poor Mike. I'm sure when Mike goes to sleep, he has a pencil and a pad of paper beside him as he sleeps. Mike, confirm. He sleeps? Dude's like always, always that's around. A, drawing. That's a trick question. Yeah. He has to sleep first. Yeah. Trick question. Oh, these are going to be awesome, guys. Are, are you ready to show off, Sam, a little bit? Sorry? Are you ready to show off your, you know your what? piece? I, I, uh, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not quite ready yet, but I am attempting a, a, a chibi version of Hellboy. We'll see how that turns out. All right. So good. You may be up uh, for some competition, though. Oh, who else is drawing Hellboy? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm guessing. I'm drawing the Kool Aid Man. The Kool-Aid man. The Kool-Aid man from hell. I actually <laughs> that's I, I should have been paying more attention. I thought Dinesh was actually drawing the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. I like the pancake man. Maybe it's Hellboy fighting the Kool-Aid man. Maybe I'll draw the Kool-Aid man now. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard to uh, switch gears. You've got a lot of the same key elements, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know who, who who we got in that fight, Hellboy or Kool-Aid Man? Well, the Kool-Aid Man is made of glass. Yeah, but he could go through a wall. Oh, no, here's true. the question, though. And this is, is that, isn't this the question from... From the internet, where is Kool Aid Man the <laughs> the jar or the liquid? Oh, <laughs> that, so the jar is, is the jar is close? Yeah, like is it is it just his skin, <laughs> or like what is exactly what e exactly is Kool Aid Man? Well, from the perspective of human biology, the fluid that is inside <laughs> Kool Aid Man is it blood. It's got to be blood or piss. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's one or the other. So it could be both. Which are the kids drinking? <laughs> oh see the, the real questions come out here is it a picture that's haunted it could be it's, it's he's a ghost i love that it's an scp project stop ruining kool-aid man should i give him a tail <laughs> what hmm I, I'm going to say it's the whole thing. He he is the embodiment of Kool Aid. The essence. The essence of the Kool Aid spirit. made manifest. So he is the spirit then. <laughs> yes, he's the spirit. <laughs> he's the spirit animal of Kool Aid. Um, zombie mutated Kool Aid man. I think that's a request. <laughs> Sam, that's on you. All right. <laughs> oh yeah! Don't threaten me with a good time. You've been threatened, Stephen. You've been threatened. Um. Oh geez, poor Mike. Mike. Mike's getting it. When Mike sleeps, his beard comes to life. He picks up a pencil <laughs> brush and yeah. continues to draw. I I believe that. <laughs> <Is he? laughs> I want to know He's... if Mike. I want to know if Mike has ever attempted to uh, ink with a live squirrel. <laughs> It can be on brand. He's got a prehensile uh, beard, apparently. Oh, speaking of Mike, I've got this. Oh. There's some oh! sweet Mike Ruth art that uh, I got recently. Oh, wow. 
Hey. Hey, uh, one of the bastions of my childhood, the uh, <clears throat> the infamous War Duke from the Dungeons and Dragons toy line. Little known fact, well, okay, well known fact, he's a ripoff of Death Dealer. Lesser known fact, he was designed by Tim Truman. Oh wow. yeah, when he was going to the Cooper School. Yeah, I was obsessed with this figure when I was a kid. His head busted off, and I glued it back on. I would not let him go. Anyway, now I have this lovely Mike Ruth drawing of him. Did you get Can that I from see? the Dodge campaign, Kelman? Uh, I don't know. He was doing daily auctions. He'd draw something oh, okay. and auction it off, and I had to have this one. So, <laughs> my... I'm looking around here. Uh, uh, Martin Killer. and I did an unboxing this weekend, or last week, with our original Mike Ruth art. That's right. Uh, oh, cool. Last week. Last week. Last week. That's yep. right. I know. It's all, it's all blending, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one live stream after the other. All right, all right. We have the definitive answer here. Apparently, Kool Aid Man is the liquid. Anything he fills, he possesses to quench <laughs> the thirst of all. Ah, that's that's a good one. Thanks, Julian. <laughs> so many theories about Kool Aid Man coming up. <laughs> See, the, everyone's got opinions, right? No tail. <laughs> Chad says no tail. Um. There's your next cosplay, uh, Chad. Oh my goodness! Kool Aid Spawn. Yes, he's. A, <laughs> I've got every other asked, kind of Spawn, so why not? <laughs> kind of the anti-god in the John Carpenter movie Kool Aid Man Cometh. <laughs> I I would watch that. It's the sequel, The Prince of Darkness. <laughs> Neil says he uses a beaver. I'm I'm <laughs> I guess he's talking about Mike. <laughs> 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 nice beaver. Hey now. Um, <laughs> of course are we Brad. still talking about drawing or we? <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> these shows tend to get a little off the rails. Uh, nice War Duke. Now I know who outbid me on that piece. <laughs> <laughs> Calman can't hear me, so he doesn't know someone's got a hit out on him. Um, Calman, apparently someone's got a hit out on you because uh, you outbid them in the uh, War Duke auction. sweepstakes. Hey, man, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> I bid uh, at the end of the auction. The last bid before that was about nine hours earlier, so somebody uh, fell asleep at the wheel or something. It's not like I was uh, <laughs> undercutting anybody. Martin, uh, Calman says you snooze, you lose. Uh, That's the way it goes. Oh, I can hear Calman. He just can't hear me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Sigourney Weaver in uh I can Galaxy see anything. Quest. Can he not hear me either? No, he I, could hear you. I'm oh, just I think he just can't hear me. I think it's just selective hearing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I should adopt that uh, tactic as well. Just pretend I'm not <laughs> hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> la 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 I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> What am I even here for? <laughs> what is my life about? What have I become? <laughs> hey, wasn't um, Prince of Darkness the devil was this black liquid, right? It was. I love ah. that movie. That's my yes. favorite John Carpenter movie. It's sometimes a controversial choice because people have strong feelings about which of his movies are best. There are a lot of good ones, but that's my personal fave. I'd love to talk to Calman about it. Uh, Martin Martin would love to talk to you. About it. <laughs> oh no, but, but we can't. can't. The pain. I can't. <laughs> but he can. Uh, Another time, Starcrossed. Apparently, Star -crossed. Have a chance, Martin. You and me, we'll get a we'll get a chance to talk about <laughs> Prince of Darkness over a, this. A, a different black liquid, perhaps some pints of beers once it's safe to do so. Um, Kool Aid Man's older brother, older half brother, is First Aid Man. First aid man. Ouch. Come on. <laughs> uh, good evening, TS. TS says good evening. Good evening. Oh, these are looking good. I'm going to do a little bit of a spotlight now on some of these. Let's check out the dish. Yo, yo. Oh, look at that. It's nice. nice. Oh. I got him some speedos. Not That's rough and tumble, Hellboy. <laughs> it's not Hellboy if he doesn't have a banana hammock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I oh, say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's 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 awesome. Love it. Thank See you. the the finger worked. Finger. Hearing the conversation finger. just from your side is is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Who who can you hear? Can you hear me? Megan, no. who can you hear? No, I can't, can't hear, hear me either. <laughs> so you can only heal, hear Calman, Megan? Yeah, I guess so. Sam is asking ask. if you can only hear me. Is that right, Megan? You can only hear me? I can only hear you. Uh, <laughs> I can only hear How you. awful for you. <laughs> so, oh my I'm God. so sorry. <laughs> So Martin, like... <laughs> so Martin will ask me. Oh, it's been great. I Calvin prefer it. To ask Megan questions. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh boy. I'm I'm thinking of trying to log out and back in with my phone. Hopefully has, that'll help. It helped. Has when anybody I no has anybody seen so the I movie uh, Hear No Evil, See No Evil? Things, Megan, maybe you should try that. <laughs> Calman, can you ask Megan if she's seen the movie See No Hero? See right, no I'll evil, do the same. Hear No Evil. Wait. So there's yeah, like... he's, she's Richard Pryor, and I'm uh, <laughs> who's the other one? Gene Wilder. Kelman, <laughs> Kelman is Gene Wilder. I, 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 I think Kelman is Gene I think Wilder. In generally, generally, he's Gene Wilder in most such scenarios. I would, I would assume. No, this is going to be I, when when the time comes for you to interview Megan. This will this will be brilliant. <laughs> Paul has to ask if I do this, is there echo? Ask Megan no? the question. You're good. Can you hear me? I can. I can hear what? everybody. I haven't... Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've not solved the problem because I haven't logged back in with my phone for drawing. So, uh, so as long as it's just one, I think we're okay. But okay. but then who will be able to talk to Megan? <laughs> well, she has to log back in, right? <laughs> Megan left. <laughs> She's had it. She's had it. We're done. She she doesn't like Kool Aid man. Um, <laughs> Kool Aid and Spawn wouldn't work because he's red and black. Uh, it probably would look more like Tar Pot Spawn. <laughs> uh, what's the theme tonight, Paul? It's called Paint It Red. Is that Paul Lemenko? That's Paul Lemenko, the one and man only. in Thailand. Paul Lemenko. Oh, Megan's coming back. Let's see how this works. One sec, Megan. I can I can hear you. You can hear me? I can hear you. Yay. All right. Calman? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. And is I there echo when I, when I talk? Yes. Oh, my God. I Sam? think we have solved oh. all the problems. <laughs> no. Now, add back my uh, my drawing can, oh, please. So see beautiful. If, see if it still holds. This is amazing. Nice. All right. Here's where here's is where it breaks. Here we go. Yeah. It's coming in. And... Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Calman. I can hear everybody. Yeah, nice. nice. Do we have Echo? Nope. No. Oh, we did it. You can All see right. me it, through two views. All right. Thanks, everyone, for no. jumping in tonight. It was <laughs> been a great show. It's so <laughs> like beautiful. Like, uh, <laughs> R, 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 R. You, 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 you. <laughs> Well, we're ready for Satchel Mania 21. Yeah. <laughs> Satchel Mania 21 is also a, on, uh, on raid, a raid. Featuring Jim Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Satchel Mania 21 is also going to be a raid uh, studio it gathering. It will. Who do we have lined up? Uh, Ramon, I believe, has chosen the Michael J. Fox uh, charity. And I would guess likely uh, Dax. And... Uh, TBA. TBA. Try to get the. Yeah. Uh, oh, TBA can... is in demand. His yeah. uh, his <laughs> NFTs are selling for like TBA? six million. Yeah. He's my favorite rapper. I. Um, it's 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 a troll Hellboy. I like it. Was that where you going for, uh, Anish? Um. Yeah, I'm just going wherever the shape's taking. He's, he's he's just going. He's just going. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's the beauty of, of watching Danish work. Is uh, a lot of a lot of it's so kind of like on the fly and organic. It's he does such wonderful things. It's so good. Oh, I know. So much, man. So good. You could come back anytime, <laughs> and everyone else can as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jim Jim Lee, we're calling you out. This is an official Jim Lee call out. It, uh, so actually. Oh, Katie Sawatsky is coming uh, next month as well. Oh, yes. nice. Katie's yes, Katie. awesome. 
Actually, so <laughs> I wouldn't say claim to fame, but one of the things, do you guys remember um, uh, Jim used to host a uh, draw off called Gelato Medi with the Wildstorm? Oh, yeah, gang? yeah. I've got one of the sketchbooks. So one year uh, when I was working at Aspen, you know, all those years ago. Yeah, uh, they we did a Aspen versus Wildstorm, which obviously we got our butts kicked uh, by by them. But I not it was, so obviously there are some terrible artists at Wildstorm. Yeah, but they were more popular than us, <laughs> <laughs> and it was ran through Blogspot, so it was like it was just has many, however many people like commented oh my gosh. on the on the uh, on the post on the photo or whatever, right? Right. So. It uh, it was quite interesting, and I I had the uh, I had I had to go up against Ali Garza, and I was nobody at that time. I don't I think like one issue of Cannon Hawk came out, <laughs> like I was nobody. I bet you smoked it though, you killed it. Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> My, it's okay. You can flex here. It's all good. No, I'll, I'll try to point. Uh, I'll try to pull out some of the old. Uh, I, everyone that knows me, I I speak ill of myself more than I speak positive of myself. But uh, yeah, I uh, I very I humble, of... but a monster talent. Yo, for sure. Come oh, on. Thank you. Uh, Richard Pace says hiya. Hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. How you doing? Hey, Richard. Um, Shout out to Second Coming, Volume Two. Oh so yeah, the second yeah, yeah. Second Coming then. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a second printing? Sorry, no, it's well, a that second would be volume. the one to get. That's the one to CGC. <laughs> it's the second printing. <laughs> uh, so Paul, back to Paul. Yes, the theme is red. The theme is red. We went very generic tonight. What's Paul going to draw tonight? Yeah, Paul, what are you drawing tonight? Can I just give a little spoiler? Uh, next week, uh, we're going to have a uh, spotlight on Paul Lomenko oh, on awesome. our road to Dracula Visions. Uh, and Paul Lomenko, uh, as well as Dominic uh, Charnier, uh, is hard at work on the logo. And I'm hoping to be able to reveal that soon. It's looking great. They're, they're doing brilliant work, both of them. Yeah. Very excited to... Is this a pinup gallery or comic stories in this? Uh, it's a it's an it's an art uh, it's an art project. So it's it's going to be based on. Uh, oh yeah, you can hear me, can't you? Uh, yeah, it's going to be based. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, are I you can. getting I this, can. Sam? Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, say what I'm saying, but more eloquently. Um, I can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh. Yeah, it's a, it's a uh, we have twenty five artists that are going to be doing uh, various uh, full pinups of um, based on quotes from Bram Stoker's Dracula. So oh, it's going to be cool. a super cool uh, magazine sized uh, publication that would be kick uh, kickstarting in uh, October. Nice. Yeah, I saw the trailer and it's a hell of an awesome lineup and a great idea. The thing that I was curious about was I couldn't couldn't figure out if it was pinups or comics. And ah. I think a pinup gallery is a great idea. That sounds totally awesome. I'm so in for it. Yeah, it's for it's it's really a um, yeah it's 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 a celebration of each artist, right? So we want to make sure that it's it's big as possible, full magazine size. Um, everybody's gonna have you know we call it Dracula Visions. Everybody's gonna have their own sort of vision of what they they want to come up with, and uh, we're gonna be revealing little by little as we go along. And awesome. so is that a good segue? Do you have the trailer lined up, my friend? I do. All right. Should we uh, shameless plug? Shameless plug. <laughs> shameless plug. All right. <laughs> All right, folks. Shameless plug time.
All right, there you are. Next for the adults. Nice. <laughs> and and for 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 more information uh, and behind the scenes sneak peeks, where can they get that, Martin? They can go to Slam Press Tomes on Facebook. So Facebook backslash Slam Press Tomes. At the top, there's a little button you could click on that. It'll take you right to our uh, mailing list sign up. Just put your email there and we'll provide you with all the information leading up to Dracula Visions. And we got some really cool stuff by our good friend uh, Sam Agro to sneak, sneak peek in the next one. Yep, sure do. We might even have some other things too from it by uh, a few other folks. Anyway, um, so yeah, check it out. Very excited about that project. Um, uh, Deep River said, any word on Dracula Vision's Kickstarter? <laughs> October. A little behind. October, yes, October. Uh, Paul wants to know if he should get a haircut. Yes. <laughs> are, he, are, are they allowed to get haircuts in uh, Thailand? I wish I could. Can I fly to Thailand and get a haircut? Because I can't get one here. <laughs> Shameless plug time. Yep. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Paul has done some amazing work that I can't show yet. He's actually uh, gone back to doing uh, interior uh, sequential art in, in his fully painted uh, style. And uh, yeah, awesome. that's going to be uh, revealed in, in a couple of months. Actually topped off by a cover by uh, Kalman. Oh, what? Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see that all put together. <laughs> he sounds surprised. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, he, it's been a while. He he surprised us with it in the fall, so we've been sitting on it for a while. But uh, yeah, Paul, I'm not going to miss you that deadline. I've been done for months. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. You actually won that deadline in terms of everyone else. Uh, usually Paul wins it, but this time you did. Wow. Kelman, <laughs> I didn't know I was uh, beat out <laughs> everyone else on deadlines. Wow, that is some turn of events. That's for sure. Who am I? Uh, to be perfectly fair, I didn't know it was a deadline. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> <laughs> it was a piece you did for fun after our uh, cauldron exhibit. Do they do they lie to you? Like uh, you know. Like I have to do for the misses when we're going somewhere. <laughs> like, yeah, we have to leave at uh, 20 minutes to eight. <laughs> uh, it's been known. It's but, been known. Uh, I'm turning over a new leaf, starting with yeah. uh, Sam's cover. Nice. And, uh, and I haven't been late for anything since, except. Yeah. Sorry for teasing you, Kelman. No, 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 it's, it's uh... fine. It's uh, when you call yourself Misty Deadline, you're uh, walking into a hail of bullets. <laughs> I I should have uh, been better about my camera angle earlier before, but <laughs> I keep on switching it and changing it, and I'm like, ah, oh, this is this. It works. You can see it. Nice and dynamic. Yeah. Well, thanks. But, no, cool. I meant the camera angle of my phone. <laughs> oh, was, I was drawing and it was in my way. It's in so your face. Like, <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, we'll be ready for Sketchel Mania 21. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? Was... It, just, it just occurred to me. I have something in common with uh, with uh, all the, the guests today. I I have something in common. If if Let's turn this into a game with the audience. Uh, I have shared something with, with uh, all the guests, each guest. Uh, well, I hope it's not code. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See if people can guess what our relationship is I, or what i'd like to stress at this time i have full control over what goes on the screen <laughs> <laughs> am i gonna regret this <laughs> throwing out this challenge? what has sam shared <laughs> <laughs> i don't that, even know <laughs> yeah, i don't I'm know what we're talking you. about i think i know <laughs> What has Sam shared? Well, Megan knows. Megan knows everything. I think they do, <laughs> but I think it's an audience question. Yeah, let's see what the audience says, and then we'll see if uh, Megan and I are in the same wavelength here. Are they samosas? Uh, is it cooties? <laughs> Stephanie wants to know if it's cooties. Uh, that too, yes. I, I am the source <laughs> of all cooties, apparently. <laughs> All things I, I will not Dang. deny the cooties. All right. Cooties. Thank you, Stephanie. 
I've had um, all my cootie shots. I'll have, you know. <laughs> How many shots do you need for cooties? All, like... a, a circle, a circle, and a dot, dot. <laughs> Depends if it's the Moderna cootie shot or the Pfizer cootie <laughs> Oh, nice. So or, topical. Or they've pulled the, uh, what's the cootie shot they've pulled? The uh... AstraZeneca. 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 <laughs> AstraZeneca. Which sounds like a uh, Jim Starlin villain. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Now I want. Now I want that one more. Mm -hmm. well, it's easy to get because no one else wants. <laughs> so I walk right in right now. Shall we go around and talk? Talk to everyone. See what they've. What comics? Yeah, let's do it. To? Let's do it. Who do you want to start with? Who wants to go first? Anyone? Silence. Dinesh. No. Okay. Geographically <laughs> further. Hey. Dinesh, do you have any projects right. you can talk about? Um, yeah, I'm working on a, like a 168-page graphic novel that's coming out next year. Uh, it's a Christmas uh, graphic. It's called... Uh, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say the name. So it's, uh, it's fun. It's, I think I've never talked about it. I don't know what I can say. Um, let me Do you think. know where it's being published? Or Yeah, um, so it's Kids, it's kids Can Press. Okay. Um, and it's uh, it's basically about this. It's called. Um, and maybe I'll just show you some drawings from it. I think that's easier. yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. I love how he's not yeah. sure if he's allowed to talk about it, but he's gonna show art. <laughs> We're just gonna basically show the yeah. whole, whole uh, piece. Well, this yeah. is the one. This yeah, is yeah. the one thing we've missed since uh, Dinesh. Danish, moved I won't tell Spain. anybody. Just so these oh, are just cool. like character sketches and stuff of like the elves and. Uh, it's based on this bunch of reindeers. Um, yeah, yeah, there's these eight reindeers with different personalities, and um, it's just a lot of fun because the um, the the comic, the most pages I've done in a comic before this has been six. <laughs> like Kukaracha? Was that what? You... Yeah, yeah, Doctor pretty much. Kukaracha? Nice. Yeah, yeah. So Doctor Kukaracha. Dr. Dr. Kukaracha. He's got yeah. his PhD. He didn't go to med school for six years to be Mr. Kukaracha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I guess he's a cockroach, so six minutes or are, whatever. Are there, uh, are, there cookie, are there cookies involved in that in that story? No, no cookies. I feel that there should be. Um, <laughs> actually, one thing, uh, another comic, which is going to be coming out more recently, is close, is going to be a uh, I'm doing a parody of uh, Jungle Book. Oh, nice. So it's like, what if it's going to be in the next raid, in raid four, right? Also raid. known as Klaatu. This is Klaatu. the title of okay. raid anthology four. Klaatu. Nice. Okay. So in Klaatu, I am doing a Jungle Book parody. It's, it's basically what if um, Mowgli never left the jungle? And he kind of like you know in the end of the movie in the Disney movie he just he, he they in behind the bushes and then the girl he sees the girl and he runs after her with her yeah do you guys all remember that yeah so he in this chose version, civilization he, he, over yeah yeah so in this version he never left right like he's like this pasty old middle aged man with a big belly and he's uh, wearing the same underwear. Uh, <laughs> that's like most of us in lockdown <laughs> this, is, this is a little close to home <laughs> <laughs> sorry I didn't mean to uh, no, okay. there. <laughs> what am I doing with my life <laughs> this is triggering for some a little bit yeah. <laughs> trigger so, warning <laughs> I mean, it, that's how it starts it starts in the, in the jungle and he's still behind the bushes and he's like just still watching and he's never left and um yeah and except he, now he, it's he, creepy that he's an old man instead of a young boy oh yeah it's super creepy yeah <laughs> <laughs> and for yeah. folks that uh want to stay up to date on on the status of the upcoming uh, raid kickstarters there's multiple that are that are coming up they can go to raid.world uh, and uh, yeah, sign up for the mailing list. They can click the uh, mailing list. They can shop, and they can uh, follow Raid on Kickstarter. Yeah. Multiple buttons on the website, especially if you want to see uh, what's become of Mowgli. 
<laughs> yep. It, you're not gonna it's not gonna be a good thing. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a terrible story. Don't read it. That's all you <laughs> just. I'm in. I'm in. The, the last... Yeah. I'm just warning you not to read the story. <laughs> All right. the time. Yeah. The last uh the last raid newsletter actually had a really cool uh, uh tease of the the raid anthology four cover. So something mm -hmm. for folks to uh look forward to. There's some kaiju action in there. Cool. All right, Megan. What's up? What's new? What are you working on? Yes. Uh, I'm working on my creator-owned comic, Godslave, and then I just wrapped coloring a middle-grade retelling of Swan Lake, a middle-grade graphic novel, uh, so I did the oh, coloring cool. for that. Um, it was super fun. Uh, it's a really fun tale. Uh, I'm super excited for people to see it. My friend Megan Carney did the artwork on it, and it was really fun to get to work with her art. Um, Roll Haven just came out... Uh, and that's really it right now. Just uh, keeping busy with Godslave and working on volume two of that. Cool. And, and is where the, the and creator own a... one? What, what was that? Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's Godslave. It's a Egyptian mythology action webcomic. Nice. At Godslave.com. About this girl who is protecting a god from the rest of the pantheon while they're trying to like hunt him down. Very cool. What really impresses me most about this, Megan, is the fact that, if I remember correctly, you were you were auditing uh, uh, university courses, right, in order to research this. Uh, yeah, I, I while I was working on my first web comic, I basically took like a year and a half to actually research Egyptian mythology, um, which turned into like a really fun uh, experience of like. You know, we get all the retellings of Egyptian mythology, but this was the first time I was getting like the quote unquote sources and like learning the actual Egyptian names for the gods and realizing that the ones I've known for most of my life have been the Greek translations. Um, so even that was kind of like a, a cool kind of wake up call of like, oh, there's actually some really cool stuff here that I had no idea about. And where can they find your webcomic and they can buy a print version of it, right? Megan? Yeah, you can uh, find the comic. It's all up for free at godslavecomic.com. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. We hear you. Maybe there's a delay. I think there's a delay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can read it all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think there's a little bit of delay. You can read it all at uh, uh, godslavecomic.com. Uh, and then there should be a link for the book there as well. Um, and so if you're into action and mythology, I highly recommend it. Um, well, also, if you're into aggressive female leads. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Looking forward to it. I'll check it out. All right. Uh, Misty, Kalman. What you wow, got what's going, going on? on for me? Uh... Well, uh, for the last few months, I've been hard at work on a bunch of illustration for a Murdoch Mysteries iOS AR game, which should be launching in the next couple of weeks. I'm not 100% sure of the exact date, but if you give a poke in the App Store, maybe Oh, you'll find cool. It. A lot of the uh, 1910s uh, vintage fashion, which, uh, you know, speaking about uh, research, I love that stuff. I also uh, sell vintage clothing nice. as a hobby. So it was my sweet spot. Really fun to dive into that. Lots of characters and locations. And right on. I uh, wrapped that a while ago. And that was uh, tremendously rewarding to work on that and kind of build the whole look and feel. I mean, obviously, Murdoch exists. There's an established look and feel, but to turn it into illustration. So is it so based that, on the, the TV show? Like the Yes, based on a show you've probably heard of but not watched, but perhaps your aunt or grandmother loves it. It's on uh, Netflix. At least. My yeah. love and CBC Gen. My parents love that show. Yeah, yeah. It's a very parent friendly show. Um, I you know, I got to know the show because I had to do 
you know, deep dive to really get the feel. And I, I have come to appreciate it and enjoy it for, for what it is. Um, yeah. But it is a very like Miss Marple level, you know, like a, I don't know what the word for those types of whodunits are. Like it's, it's a gentle show. There's not a lot of like mythology or continuity, but there's, it's like Law and Order. You know, there's a mystery every okay. episode. But if you know the characters, there's little charming bits. Cool. Um, it's actually, I, I I joke, but it's probably actually right up my alley. <laughs> I I love mysteries. I love I love I love British mysteries. Is sort of the thing that I really get really you into. You are smack dab the right demographic for it. Yeah, it I, I, I have come I have come to unironically enjoy the show now. <laughs> uh, but I don't know that I would have given it a poke otherwise because it does have this momish kind of vibe. But it's good. It's good. I'm in my, and, my British uh, mystery I can't wait years. For you all. What's that? <laughs> I'm in my British mystery years. Yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, in addition to that, uh, yeah. I'm doing a variant cover for Stillwater uh, image series the, by mm. Raid's own Ramon Perez and Raid alum Chip Zdarsky. Nice. And the series uh, has been fantastic so far. Oh, it's great. And I'm so happy to be able to add a little something to it. Um, and also, uh, I mean, this is this is more of a, a shameless plug, but I'm opening up my commission list for the first time in 2021, this Friday at 3 PM. So if you follow me on social media or you like what you're seeing on the, on the camera here, Get uh, on it. I, haven't, I haven't done this since the fall of last year. I only do it once or twice a year. So this is this is the time. I already have a bunch of, uh, of interested parties lined up. But uh, if you want a commission from me, you know, doing multimedia, doing tone paper, doing a lot of ink wash, check out my Instagram. There's a lot, that kind of stuff. Being in lockdown has returned me to making things with my hands and kind of brought back a Are lot of the joy. Wait, what? The, you that? said tone paper. Mm-hmm. Here, oh, here's, here's an example. The card you, uh, you cut? Yeah. No, uh, the tone paper like uh, uh, dark. Here's a, here's a puck I did recently. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Puck. I remember right. seeing that. Oh, that's You awesome. start with gray, Gosh, and then yeah. you can kind of build up in, in dark sand lights, and it's a ton of fun. And now I never really want to draw on white so paper good. again, as evidenced by my, uh, my red <laughs> drawing, where I painted the whole sheet red before I started, because it's white paper. For amateurs. No, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Cadence, through Cadence Comic Art, my very uh, longtime uh, beloved art reps and dealers on social media. Anyway, this Friday at 3, if you want a commission, that's the time. Uh, nice. What else? I'm also doing a variant cover for another image series that I don't think has been announced, but I'm super excited about it. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's all we got. Oh, you've been, uh, speaking of Alpha Flight, you've been doing a really fun uh, uh, chat uh, recently about the Alpha Flight uh, fan animation with uh, Mike Villicat. Yeah, my good friend Mike, uh, who is also Raid affiliated, uh, comes more from animation than comics, has been sort of uh, building a groundswell to do an animated short Alpha Flight fan film called Taking Flight. And, uh, and as part of it, um, he's been reaching out to artists to kind of brainstorm uh, character takes, character concepts, character designs, sort of publicly in forums like this to kind of I guess throw back the curtain and let people see all the kinds of thinking and uh, and aspects that go into uh, creating a character, interpreting a character, what makes them tick, what's their essence. I um, mean, it's been fun. It's it's been there's been some art, there's been some reference, there's been some back and forth, and uh, we're going to do another one again soon. It's kind of a when when we have time. But uh, I got I got everyone's favorite Alpha Flight character, Marina. Uh, which you know, how do you solve a problem like Marina? That's uh, that's what we uh, are doing in this series. So I don't have a hard date on the next one, but uh, watch social media because there will be more, more Marina design process. Awesome. Oh, one more thing. Yes. I almost forgot. I'm doing covers for a goth Western series called Midnight Western Theater. What? If you often felt your cowboys weren't sad and black and lacy enough, <laughs> <laughs> and if you felt your morose goth literature didn't have enough gunplay, this is a series for you. Um, it's by an up-and-comer yeah. called Louis Southard, who is a, uh, he's going to be big. This man is full of ideas, and they're good. And uh, I'm covering the whole series. It's been a while since I've done a run. I think I think Extreme X-Men was my last like run, where it wasn't right. just a one-off here or there. Uh, it was a ton of fun to kind of 
design six covers and work out the aesthetics of that and uh, come up with its own own uh, own own uh, uh, cowboy western goth emo hair emo hair no <laughs> oh, a little bit that's a ponytail or two um, so that's from Scout Comics. Issue one is out. I think issue two is uh, final order co- cutoff is coming. There's a gap between issue one and two, but then the rest will come. Yeah. Sorry, what, Midnight, what was that one called again? Midnight, Midnight Western Theater. Midnight Western Theater. Cool. Beautifully drawn by David Hahn, who is a great artist and should be doing more. Oh, that's great. All right. Marcus, mm. you're yes. up, sir. You're in the hot seat. Uh, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> All right, Sam. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've, I've, uh, man, it's sometimes it's hard to keep track. Um, but, uh, I've been working on Excalibur for Marvel for the last two years, probably now. Yes. Um, for the Dawn of X series. And I guess now it's not Dawn of X anymore, but, um, uh, and so n- issue 20 is coming out tomorrow, I think. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm also working on, uh, the Batman anthology, Batman urban legends. I'm doing the flashback sequences for the Jason Todd story. Um, cool. Yeah, so a lot of like young young Jason era uh, moments, which is nice. Um, I'm also a part of the um, DC's Festival of Heroes uh, collection that is going to showcase a lot of the uh, Asian characters in DC. Uh, I think that's coming out in May. Um, and I did one of the Cassandra Kane stories. And uh, yeah, uh, working also on some personal projects um, with Raid, uh, working on the first issue of Brotherhood of the Iron Dragon, which in past Raid anthologies, we have um, kind of previewed it. the anthologies have been really good as kind of a testing ground to try out new stories and, and if it has legs or even just to kind of um, you know give a shot to playing around with characters uh, you know and story ideas that uh, may or may not stick around necessarily but it's always good to have uh, kind of that vehicle to try out different things so it's, it's been really awesome to have that um Kind of outlet for stuff. I miss I miss going to Comic Cons and and well, especially in Toronto where you have the the whole aisle of raid artists. Mm. <laughs> it's great. Like I, I'll pick up the, the the annual then and just sort of make my way down the aisle and get everybody to sign it. It's yeah. I miss those, man. <laughs> That's great though. You so you've been busy. You've been very busy. Yeah, I, uh, there's some other stuff too. Uh, that we're trying to kind of sell as an uh, as an IP that's kind of been going around, but uh, we we don't have any 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 sure news for that just yet, and and some some other random stuff that hopefully eventually I'll be able to like talk about. But uh, yeah, a lot of it's been a busy year, and kind of very lucky that uh, that it's been you know so positive on the on the career front. So. Oh, you guys sure. have really made some some interesting uh, 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 revelations to the origins of uh, Apocalypse in your series too. Uh-huh. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I, it's it's all you know. It's it's all um, it's all uh, it's all the writers. Those those everyone uh, that whole group, uh, Teeny and and Leah and Vita and 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 of course, uh, what's his name. <laughs> Hickman. <laughs> yeah, uh, they've been really, really doing a lot of crazy things with the, you know, kind of the revelations of what the mutants are and who they are and, and, and their place in Marvel. So it feels been... fresh again, honestly. Like as a reader, um, I'm glad. I, I really enjoy it. Were you, uh, were you a big X Men fan growing up? Was that, was that your jam, or were you into other things? I. Uh, 
you know what? The, okay, so I I'm for sure a big X Men fan, but I I was I'm I can never remember. Like I'm I'm such I feel so, like such a fraud when it comes to art because every, <laughs> everyone's like I I knew very little about the creators. I knew very little about you know like a lot of the things in the history because I I only knew it from. 90s x-men you know just a very uh joe mad jim lee era of x-men and then it took me until right. you know meeting the studio guys and other comic people um that you know uh, and listening to their stories of their you know x-men teams and x-men creative teams and and then me finding out about you know burn and 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 and, and claremont and all those mm-hmm. different eras that i didn't grow up with so uh, but I always joke too, though, that um, I, I've always always more of a jock than I was uh, kind of a artist or creator or um, comics guy. So yeah. you you ask me anything about uh, hockey teams from you know '90s <laughs> up to now, I, I can I can talk about it. But uh, but I did love the X Men, like you know, like looks wise, every everything from the video games because I was big into. Um, uh, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom and things like that. Oh, so yeah, 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 the loved... fighting games are sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always loved the visually what, what they had to offer. Which we now have in the uh, Raid Studio. We have yeah. a stand-up arcade game. Yeah. Is that the one you have there? Yeah. Oh, man. Street Fighter, actually, Street Fighter vs. X-Men, sorry. Well, it's, it's actually a few of them. <laughs> Because we ha- it comes with uh, like four games or something like that, and all of them are kind of uh, Marvel X Men related. There was that really difficult uh, side scrolling X Men game. Yes, I know the it's like a four Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was the famous line from that that Magneto says? Oh, there's a great line if you get to the Magneto stage. I'll have to, oh, I'll have to ask. Our belongs to me. That's the one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I never that. got that far. Love I, that that far. <laughs> I think Megan just won the evening. Yeah, Megan, you win. So, so this is the point of the show where we do our. I want outdated trivia. meme for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Before it was a meme, it was my life. All right. <laughs> um. All right, so people are, are still trying to figure out what Sam gave to everybody. Um, <laughs> That's what I shared with everyone. <laughs> Should we tell them? Or? The thing in common is that you're all part of Raid. No, he did not give them Raid. But um, Well, that's that's close. That's close. How many of us here are, are part of Raid? Or were part of Raid as well. You know? Basically, oh, yeah, all that's of- right. Maybe I, maybe I have... Uh, uh, just overturn that. Ricky got it. Welcome to die. That's the line. <laughs> Welcome to die. That's when you, that's when you're in trouble with Magneto. Ricky. Nice. Ricky. Thank you, Ricky. Sorry, I couldn't remember. So, uh, so the way the auction is going to work is we're going to um, have them up on the fastball special. Uh, so we'll have all the artists provide a, a scan or a, a picture. Um, we'll have it run till Friday. Uh, usually, I have it run till either noon or five o'clock. I'll let everybody know. Uh, we do it in increments of five dollars, starting at twenty dollars. Um, obviously, the highest bidder is going to win the piece. We asked them to go to um, the Red Door Family Shelter. Here, I'm just going to share the video, or sorry, the the screen here. One second. Boop, boop. Oh, I got to add it to the stream. There we are. So you just go to the Red Door uh, Family Shelter. There's a thing right here. So it's reddoorshelter.ca. I'll provide the link. Hit the uh, Give Now. And then you have an uh, option in here to to donate to the Red Door Shelter. Um, once that's done, just provide a receipt, reach out to the artists, and uh, we'll make arrangements for the art to be sent to you. We do ask, though, that you do cover the cost of shipping. 
because uh, that does add up sometimes. So uh, that one little part. And uh, you have uh, awesome uh, opportunity to get some really cool pieces of art and also, uh, you know, help out a great cause. So check that out. Uh, if there's anyone that are listening right now and they're on Facebook right now, um, you could start bidding on them. Just mention who you want, uh, who you want to start bidding on. Again, we'll start at 20 and go up increments of five. Uh, if you want to start doing that now, by all means, I'll just carry it over to the official auction tomorrow. Um, and that'll be your bid going in. All right. So everybody's like super hard at work. I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to check out some of these pieces here. Um, oh, let me see. I see a cool turtle. Hold on. Boom. Oh, right on. Are you going to color it as well, Megan? <laughs> You're not sure. Uh, I'm going to color the mask and I'm going to see i would like to do like the circle behind him red cool. um, i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that with a pencil crayon but i'll see what i can do oh that's gonna look great i, I think you can do with a pencil crayon yeah yeah megan One you're thing killing about it the, the spot blacks on the right leg yeah kind oh of yeah remind me of um uh, what's his name uh he does uh head lopper there's almost oh a, yes uh, which is not to say oh. that you don't absolutely have your own voice. I know maybe, exactly. But there's something about. about those black shapes, the way they're like, just, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Andrew McLean. Uh, Andrew McLean. Thank you. Yes. I actually know him. If he's listening, he's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> but there's, a, there's a little, yeah, there's a little McLeaniness to those, uh, little, little McLeaniness to those spot blacks. I was looking for my <laughs> copy of Head Lopper. Yeah. I have it back here. But there's a whole lot more going on. I really like the grit of the oh, like yeah. rendering no, really up top. Stuff. Yeah, you, yeah. No, you, but you're usually fairly oh, open. But like, I appreciate it. You're adding in these little hatchy lines that are adding like turtles grit to it, and it really works. Yeah, dude, it's killer. It's super. Mm -hmm. good. That's exactly what I was going for. Like, I love that little like permanent marker uh, texture that's in the, the old turtle stuff. Um, yeah. I was even I was asking earlier when like I couldn't hear anybody. I was like, should I add a like, classic tail? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But we all well, know what I, that looks like in silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep that. This is a family show. <laughs> it might go for more money. There you go. <laughs> uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a family show though, if you don't <laughs> all right. <laughs> Has anyone um, ever done an adult uh, drawing on the show? On Maybe this show? Ramon will be the first one to do um, it because he's always itching for it. No, there but I'm go. okay. I'm, I'm all right. Like, you know, let's <laughs> go for it if you want. Um, I really like uh, the left hand uh, on the side, the way that it's positioned as well. Um, like, it looks like it's about, it looks like it's either mid twirl or after the twirl to reverse oh. the grip. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it looks like it's, it's exactly about to reverse. It's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm so thrilled that you said that because that's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> Were you? Cool, cool. I, I'm a bit of a I'm a bit of a weapons guy, so it's <laughs> it's my oh. thing. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I I teach weapons and stuff like that, so I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, oh, that's dope. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look, uh, Calman. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the. Uh, oh wow, cool. Love it. Sick. Oh, that's and awesome, Calvin. She is now Daredevil, is she not? Uh, apparently, yeah. yeah. I, Wait, I discovered what? that while uh, doing some research. In Chip Zdarsky's uh, run mm. of Daredevil. Uh, that's why issue number 25 has uh, shot up in value. No way. I didn't know that. Daredevil's in jail. Again? Yep. Except he's he's uh, allowed to keep his that secret rascal. identity. <laughs> so he's like in jail <laughs> with his mask on. Worst <laughs> lawyer ever. Worst lawyer say. ever. Um, yeah, that's cool. I remember when uh, who was it Iron Iron I'd, Fist was was Daredevil for a while. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Brubaker sent him to jail. I think. <laughs> or maybe Bendis sent him to jail, and Ed Brubaker wrote the uh, uh, comics of it. That is a don't F with me pose. <laughs> There's an industry term for that when one writer does something like really like uh, 
causes a big drops a bomb on their exit for the other writer to kind of write their way out of. And they were those two. They're friends. Is it cheap? But... <laughs> it's actual word. I can't remember what it is. It turned out really that. well, though, for both their runs. Like it certainly did. Yeah, that's it. Like a, a creative constraint sometimes can lead to uh, you know better stories than you would otherwise. Connect. On our Canadian Comics Forum, uh, we were talking recently about the burn uh, transition off of Alpha Flight, where I guess uh, he left the title with Hulk punching a hole through Box, the robot, uh, the, <laughs> the sentient uh, robot guy. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> I read that as a kid, and well, he's a uh, he's known to not necessarily play well with others, shall we say? <laughs> <laughs> Since when? <laughs> See, I w if I was faster on on reading the comments, we would have got the uh, <laughs> we would have got the answers way sooner. <laughs> the Andrew McLean, yes. <laughs> Apparently, it's Andrew McLean. <laughs> uh, Head Lopper is a great uh, matching color scheme and weaponry for those two. Yes, that's true. Hell yeah. Uh, I remember when Batman was Daredevil. Um, <laughs> I don't know about that, Julian. <laughs> Actually, uh, is it just Cassandra Kane you're working on, uh, Marcus? Or is she get to be a, a character? Because I really liked her when she was Batgirl. Uh, well, the, um, the, uh, the story is based on when she was Batgirl. So yes, okay. in the story I'm working on, she's Batgirl. With the really uh, cool uh, uh, costume. The... Yeah. So in this one, she still can't speak. Uh, okay. If you guys, re if you all remember the uh, story arc at the beginning of her, uh, that run was that she um, was uh, trained to read body language instead of speak, so. I thought it always made her a unique character. Those first, uh, yeah, those first Batgirl issues. Yeah, for sure. No, um, the, you know that era of a lot of those characters, like of of the Bat family, um, were very interesting. Um, I think it it gave at the time it gave a lot of uh, kind of different takes on characters um and introduce us new characters that you know still resonate today very very fondly i think especially the relationships between those those uh, younger generations of characters too like tim drake and i think she had a pretty unique uh, relationship with uh, connor kent superboy as well yeah yeah pretty interesting <laughs> oh, yeah remember that five years where every new dc character was named either connor or cassie yeah that's true <laughs> Arrowette was Cassie too, right? Yeah. And so was Wonder Girl. Oh, yes. When Batman was Daredevil, Affleck. That's true. Sorry. <laughs> I, I totally missed that. <laughs> yeah, he's, technically he's right. Can't yeah, he's that. right. You're all right. Sorry, Julian. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> can, can the Creeper be considered part of the Bat family? In uh, the Batman Adventures, he is because I think his his origin ties in with the Joker, but yep. not the regular DCU. Mm. Yeah, in the Batman That's Adventures, comprehensive answer. Yeah, I think I, I have, can't argue with that. A creation of Steve Ditko, right? Totally Ditko. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very Ditko character. So Actually, Ditko. Is anyone reading a new current Rorschach series? I bought the first issue and I liked it well enough, but I didn't keep up with it just because. There's a bit of a Ditko, uh, how shall I put this, uh, uh, riff in it that I'm I'm really enjoying. Cool. Oh, Arrowette was Kissy, not Cassie. <laughs> oh, C I S S I E. Kissy. But she was, best friend, she was uh, best friends with uh, Wonder Girl, who was Cassie. Right. Mm -hmm. Sissy and Cassie, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, let's have a look at Danish. Oh, it's signed. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. 
I feel like <laughs> right on. Wow, that's awesome. I love it. Yeah, Danish drawing circles around all of us. What else? Those yeah, feet. I know. <laughs> oh my god, those feet. <laughs> that's that's <so> great. <laughs> so how much is postage from Spain, Dinesh? I I don't know. We'll we'll have to figure <laughs> that out for the folks that yeah. uh, get on your feet. Danish yeah. is coming back to Toronto in the summer, though, are you? Looking yeah. forward to that. Hopefully. Yeah. We can oh, barbecue cool. in the parking lot to celebrate. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, June 28th. June 28th. So, yeah, we definitely got a party, man. Um, <laughs> just barbecues. Oh, on your on your birthday, too. You made us all uh, uh, barbecue. Dairy chicken. Yeah, that was delicious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and my my favorite moment was when Andrew asked me, like, oh, how did you make the chicken so red and stuff? Is that food coloring? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think he wanted to hear some, secret. like, secret Indian spice I got from some, <laughs> some mountain Oh, my somewhere. goodness. <laughs> secret Indian food coloring. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. So it's they- not... Apparently like the ants? dish can cook, is what I'm hearing. Yes. Oh, the dish can cook, yeah. Wasn't, the dish can cook. Yeah. Wasn't red dye at one point like ground up ants? Like the coloring in... It was right. like beetles. Oh, oh, beetles, that's right. That's right. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's that's... like a certain kind of, uh, what do you call it, sediment or something in their, their shell that would yeah, red dye. be used for dyes. That's, that's what this drawing was done with, dead squash, <laughs> nice. red beetles. Oh. Is that going to jump up oh, the value okay. somehow? That's a dumb, yeah, <laughs> it's doubled already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the new DC character, Red Beetle, finger, is going to uh, even. His name's Connor. <laughs> <laughs> his name's Connor. <laughs> the Red Beetle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah, love it. That's a great piece, man. Thanks. Yeah. It, uh, it, I have fun with like I want to paint more. Like I just enjoy kind of the unpredictability of paint, and you just it can. There's some things that I couldn't have done consciously that just turned out well because it was just paint there, and I, um, you know what I mean. That sometimes I, you can plan out everything a little bit and say exactly how you want things, and sometimes you let some accidents yeah, happen. Happy and then, accident. Happy yeah, accidents. Happy accidents, and well, pretty much. All right, thing. I gotta bring up our yeah. boy for here for a little bit. Our... Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Happy he, he looks so confident. Straight up. Yeah, how right. Many, eh? How many of those do you have queued up, ready to go at any time? <laughs> well, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you are having a lot of fun with Steve, aren't you? <laughs> Nice. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop clicking things. Are Are you glad I suggest you use Streamyard now? Yes. Given it all is the fun, a lot of fun. You have uh, discovered it is so much fun. All right, since we talked to, about Mike for so much, we got to show this one, the Thunder the Barbarian. That's like mm. his favorite show. All right. All right. Enough. Good enough. One. Doesn't uh, Ramon <laughs> have a bunch of the toys at the studio? Yep. Yes. I think someone does. I guess it's, is it Ramon? Yeah, it has to be Ramon's. Oh, I saw them. Um, when I went by, I was like, oh, oh. I, I found uh, Mike's uh, commission. You can, if you want to put up my uh, camera. Yeah, sure. That we unboxed uh, last week. Boom. Oh, nice. There we go. Ooh, nice. He wow. did Satanella That's... from Cauldron Magazine. Very cool. Yeah. And shout out to Dodge right here. And then yep. we got a whole bunch of uh, stickers and other fun things. Uh, a cool print. Let me show off the print. Homage to GI Joe number one. I have uh, I have another unboxing, uh, Sam. We could do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I still haven't opened my uh, William Scar package, so we can do it in the next couple of days. I got a now. I got a Kickstarter coming in. I have a little bit of a Kickstarter problem. You and me both. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you and me both. My problem is I can't stop running them. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, what do they call it, a super backer? <laughs> I don't know. What, I mm-hmm. think that, that's not good. Um, When's yours coming in? What's that? 
the, uh, your new uh, Kickstarter package. Oh, it's in. I just got it. Oh, okay. It. Cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a comic. So. Ah, so you can do that on Thursday or Friday. Sure. Satanic Sam knows all the secrets. He does. If anybody wants to do, like, trivia night, bring Sam along. You know what? You had X-Men trivia. I'm, I'll, I'll sit it out so that the others uh, can... No, I was, I was joking. Have a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kalman, Sam... Kalman and Sam know so much about comics in general and I know. And it's oh, crazy it's, it's crazy lonely lonely childhoods yeah <laughs> pretty much I was raised by a VHS and a stack of comics me too about high five the, the, <laughs> the latchkey kids right yeah totally. <laughs> were you you were both born in Toronto yeah, like grew well, up in Toronto of, area, north of Toronto. But uh, I got sent to school downtown at the AGO, the art gallery school. So nice. it was weird. I was this like little, little, you know, suburban preppy kid, and then I was suddenly in school with all these kids that looked like TV kids, like Degrassi kids. They had like you know uh, uh, mohawks and and yeah, they they look like kids you saw on TV. And yeah, they brought me to Queen Street and we hit all the record stores and the Silver Snail and the bookstores. It was great. Nice. Yeah, it got me into really cool music and Obaka, the science fiction book for Driftwood Music was my my place. Driftwood was my favorite too. Yeah, that yeah. Was, oh, my, yeah. In my teenage music education. Yeah, yeah. The cheapest, uh, the cheapest and the great selection on the whole strip. What was the name of the bookstore, like, uh, two doors down from Driftwood? I can never remember. It was across the street from uh, Dragon Lady, and it's killing me now. It was like a used bookstore that had comics, and I would buy lots of stuff in there as well. I remember that. Yeah. Like, too. It books and comics, and they had a rack in the back with magazines, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The comic, like, it had a rack. The comics were at the bottom, and yep. the... It's heartbreaking now that Queen Street in Toronto uh, doesn't have any more bookstores. BMV uh, gave it a go just before uh, the pandemic, and e even they couldn't make a go of it. I don't see anyone making a go of Queen Street, no matter what it is nowadays. Yeah, that's true. Really, uh, the Silver Snail is moving back there, though. Really? Yeah. They're, oh, really? They're closer to us, moving besides uh, Squirrelies. They're going to be closer to the uh, park, right, Trinity Bellwoods? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. I didn't know they they shut down. I didn't even know they shut down. Well, they're still there. Uh, okay. Uh, but they're moving. So. Oh okay. At, okay. They're moving, they're moving, moving from Dundas Square because I'm sure the rent there is just insane. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Um. Uh, oh, here's some. Uh, here's a knowledge bomb. Carmen Red is made from bugs. It's still used in a lot yeah. of makeup. Carmen Red. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 100 points for Megan. Whoa, Megan, the moon looks awesome. There you go. Oh, good. We got some money on the board already, starting the, to come in. Megan and Marcus has some. Do huh. uh, so you guys want to attempt to do some? I got some trivia ready to go. Um, there is, oh. It's multiple choice, but to make it harder, I won't give you the multiple choices. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What superhero was born with the curse of Kordax? I choose B. <laughs> You're actually right. <laughs> well done, sir. It was Aquaman. Aquaman. It was Ghost Rider, Aquaman, Captain Marvel, or, or Hawkman. And that's from the Peter David run, the Atlantis Chronicles? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what supervillain was created when Emil Blonsky accidentally exposed himself with a concentrated abomination earth of gamma rays? Abomination. Correct. I thought Sam was sitting out. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, you're right. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, what the hell, no more? The hell? They, they couldn't. They couldn't figure out uh, or, or help themselves to uh, <laughs> to to such a toss -up, to a lob like that. I guess. <laughs> it was a gimme. It was a. It was a yeah. for sure home run. Um, what Chester Gold character made his first appearance in the Detroit Free Press on October fourth, nineteen thirty one? Is is this for us to answer or the? 
<laughs> if if you know the answer, you can answer. Uh, let's say the question again. Sorry. What Chester Gould character made his first appearance in the Detroit Free Press on October fourth, nineteen thirty-one? Dick Tracy. Is, oh no. Correct. Yep. Is it? Uh, oh. Correct. Correct. Damn, mm -hmm. damn. 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 Yeah. Clean, clean the full mop the floors with us. Yeah. Classic damn. dish. <laughs> All right. Uh, what what superhero grew up on the planet of Tamarin? Starfire. Correct. Correct. Edwin Jarvis serves as butler to what super team? Come on. Avengers? I didn't know his name was uh, Edwin, but <laughs> Megan. All right, images. All right, it's the images. Uh, which of these superheroines was inhabited by the soul of an ancient Egyptian princess after attempting suicide? What's the name main character in God Slave, Megan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? No one? So Sam? you said which? Hot girl? Hot girl is correct. Now known as Hawk Woman. Oh, see, she went back to Hawk Girl, didn't she? She was Hawk Woman in the 80s. Who was the first costume superhero? Ooh. Riddle me this. Um, <laughs> Superman? Was Superman? Superman is incorrect. Mm. Oh. Yellow kid. The shadow. No. Any clues? The Some spirit? clues. I, I, I could give you. I could give you the the one to four if you want. It's the Phantom, Arrow, Crimson Avenger, and as you know, it's not Superman. It's one of those three. What's the second one? Arrow. Arrow. Like Stephen Amell. <laughs> Too much later. The first costume superhero is Stephen Amell. The guy who said uh, uh, Shadow was close. Uh, yeah, Kalman. Kalman said Shadow. Phantom. Mm. February 17th, 1936. Wow, I did not know that. All right. Let's see who the Elvis fans are. Who was Elvis Presley's favorite superhero? Oh, Captain come on. Marvel Jr. Wow. Hellboy. Oh, he even dressed as him with the white uh, suit. That was his homage with the little cape. Was his homage to Oh really? Captain Marvel Jr. Yeah, his Vegas outfit. That's amazing. That's pretty amazing, actually. I didn't. I didn't know that. <laughs> and his hair too. The Elvis it, it, hair. It all makes sense now. I've actually been to Graceland, and I didn't know that. Um, what year was the first modern comic book printed? Uh, define Sam, modern. Don't Google. Don't Google. <laughs> what? What's our late fifties? I'm gonna say. All right, I'll go. I'll give you the dates. Thirty-three, thirty-eight, twenty-five, and seventeen. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Thirty-three is correct. Megan's correct. And... Five points. Oh. Oh, geez. Who was Luke Cage's best friend and longtime partner in crime fighting? <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you two and a half points for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. All right. One more. One more. Let me find a good one here. Ah, oh, jeez. Even I know some of these. These. Uh... <sighs> Mm. What character teamed up with a different hero in almost every issue of The Brave and the Bold? Ben Affleck. <laughs> Bad man. Correct. Um, there was a one shot called Brave and the Bald, which uh, co starred Dead Man. Who's bald? <laughs> Thanks. <No. laughs> uh -huh. 
Was that like a postmodern that, thing, or was it like in point. the 60s at the time? It was the 90s, I think. I, I, can't, I think it was one of the British guys that uh, did yeah. Alan Grant, maybe. Yeah, it feels like someone kind of taking the piss, but it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, the rest of these are easy. <laughs> the, Brave and the, the Brave and the Bold cartoon a few years ago was actually really, really good, surprisingly good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Diedrich huh. Bader as Batman. Why did Michael Jackson try to buy Marvel Comics in the 1990s? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that because it was... <laughs> Is to get to the other side? It was up for yeah. sale. I want to hear the audience uh, react. The, <laughs> the audience always has the best answers. Because they really, really needed the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the audience are, are dead on. They've gotten quite a few of these right, actually. Look at this. Um, all right. I had no idea this was a thing. Why did Michael Jackson? Option one. Yeah. Option one is he wanted to sell them all to DC. <laughs> Option two <laughs> is they wouldn't let him write comics. Option three, he wanted to play Spider-Man in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, and option four, he wanted to publish a Michael Jackson comic book. I feel like it's so ridiculous like the <laughs> Spider-Man one. <laughs> Correct. Oh, <yeah. laughs> he wanted to be Spider-Man so bad he was going to buy Marvel. There you go. <laughs> See him like moonwalking down skyscrapers. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh. Do, do, do. Too easy, too easy, too easy, too easy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's got to be a little bit challenging or or silly. Um, this is interesting. What writer artist has had the longest consecutive run on a single comic book? Was that was that Bagley or something? Writer artist, so one writer person, artist currently. No. I burn, burn Eric Larson for Dinesh has it. Eric Larson for uh, Savage Dragon, right? Oh, oh wait, right. No, 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 right. no. Uh, Dave uh, Sim, Cerebus, Cerebus. Oh, Correct, Cerebus. Dave Sim. Mm -hmm. Although uh, Dra Savage Dragon is slated to beat it in a couple of years, but not before. Uh, oh shoot, what's that? Our Antarctic Press book, uh, Gold Digger. Gold Digger is coming up on 300, too. <laughs> um, folks? All by one person? Gold Digger the whole time? Yeah, yeah. Damn. A actually, oh. if you don't count, like, because it, it rebooted a couple of times to number one. So already, uh, theoretically, uh, they've, they've beat Dave Sim for the amount of comics. But huh. uh, in terms of number 300, I think in the next uh, couple of years, uh, what's his name? Who, who uh, ben... wrote and drew... Gold Digger is ben, uh, not Ben Edlund. I always think Ben Edlund, but it's yeah, like, the the other guy. <laughs> ben Dunn? Is that it? No, no. Uh, shoot, what's his? If only the sum total knowledge of all humanity was available to us in our pockets, so, uh, nonetheless. People are saying that's a bizarre timeline. I think they're talking about the Michael Jackson Spider Man. <laughs> uh, James Cameron's Spider Man starring Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's whose cut is that one? The James Cameron cut. Uh what was the first appearance of Countess Von Blood? Who is that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Who is I was like, I don't know this one at all. <laughs> Sounds like Sam. a Satanella adjacent character. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Sam question if there was ever one. Sorry, what was the question? I was trying to look up who did Gold Digger. What was the first appearance of Countess Von Blood? Spelled B-L-U-D-D. Countess, B -L -U -D -D. Countess Bl Von Blood. Oh. 
I th this is a Sam Agro question. Is Sam in the audience? Oh yeah, this is a total Sam Agro question. He was on earlier. Countess Blood. I am I am drawing a blank. Stumped. We stumped. Well the Sam. done, sir. Well done. We stumped the Sam. Is that Major Blood's uh, maiden aunt? <laughs> <laughs> We'll get you, G.I. Joe. And and the <laughs> answer G. is... T with me, auntie. <laughs> the answer is, obviously, Charlton Bullseye number one. Oh, there you go. Of course. Charlton. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Uh, okay, folks. Uh, we have ten minutes to complete. Ten minutes. Fred Perry is the creative gold digger. Oh, Ben Dunn is Ninja High School. My mistake. Yeah, yeah. He's the publisher. I thought it was the same dude. I stumped the folks in the audience as well. They had no idea. I bet Sam Sam Agro would have gotten it. I bet you. I bet that's you. His, sure. That's totally his era. All right. Uh, let's have a quick look around. Okay. So, uh, Megan, did you finish? Yeah, I'm done. Right on. Check it out. That's gorgeous. Nice. That's a killer All piece. Right. Someone's going to get an awesome piece of uh, art there. That's amazing, Megan. Nice work. Love oh, it. Thanks, man. All right. And uh, Sam, do you want to show yours? Yeah, I've just been. Yeah. There oh, you yeah. go. Oh, oh, yeah. Cool oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If anyone in the comments uh, does want to throw a few shekels to the Red Door Shelter, I will ink it and color it tomorrow. <laughs> right on. I'll show mine because. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta turn this background off. Or <laughs> it's just gonna. There we go. Boom. Da da da. Nice. Oh, nice. Look at the pipes. Very nice. Look at the pipes. <laughs> All right. Biceps for days. Everybody's so kind. Um. All right, Marcus. So. Oh my goodness. I'm not uh, done just yet, but uh, oh my close God. to it. Uh... Dude. Just... So... Oh, oh, good. Marcus, did you draw that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you have to draw it. <laughs> and uh, Marcus, you haven't opened up your commission list for a while, right? So this is this is a chance for someone to... Yeah, like t <laughs> like ten years. <laughs> so so jump wow. on this, folks. Yeah. You're not allowed this to do a, magic on the show. This is a rare opportunity for you, folks. It's true. And the, since there's no cons coming up in a, well, none mm -hmm. that we would go to. <laughs> I yeah. think Florida probably has some. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a while since uh, I opened up my commission list, uh, so. You know, jump on it. Good cause. Um, you know, it helps uh, helps families. Uh, you know, find a, a safe place to to go to. Yeah. And, For them to transition. Yeah. Fantastic. Different cool. different things. Yeah. Safer spaces. Safer spaces uh, from you know like, for places people you know escaping abuse and in another you know places. So. No, it's a great. It's it's for sure. It's a great uh great charity. I'm happy, happy to be even a part of this. But uh, my great God, choice. yeah, great Thank choice. Uh, Mike, Mike says it's outstanding, and I have to agree for sure. He is actually one of my favorite villains, uh, X Men villains as well. There's just something about I, I just I just really dig the the uh, the costume. It's yeah, who cool. designed him? Uh, Jim Jim Lee, Jim Lee. Was that a, Jim yeah. Lee right? Yeah. yeah. I know I give Jim Lee some a hard time on his designs, but uh, this one's a. I think I feel like this one's a winner <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig it for sure. Um, now, now, do you want to give a shout out to you? You're also involved in a rescue, right, Marcus? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, I, I try to give the uh, them some money from time to time, and I I rescued a uh, some uh, an animal as well. So. Um, I also support little 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 rescue reptile rescue, and I uh, have a turtle that I got from them. Uh, 
Yeah, Gramps. It's, it's, Gramps? it's an older turtle. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an older turtle, so a lot of, you know, turtles get kind of given up because people don't really like them past <laughs> a certain amount of time. So, um, yeah, we got him from, because they were surrendered by a, um, a, a kind of a not-so-good pet store that right. kind of kept them in, you know, crowded in crowded tanks and, and different things like that so um he had a lot of uh shell rot problems but uh he's, he's doing fine now and uh ornery as ever that's why we call him gramps because he's an uh, old man <laughs> with <laughs> ornery old turtle um, and uh yeah lil, lil rescue uh l-i-l uh r-e-s-q um, so yeah, and, and they also help, uh, so they have, a uh, mostly turtles, but they have other, um, you know, reptiles and stuff like that. And, and, uh, and they also help if, if you need any questions and, and are want to get a reptile, they have a lot of good resources to help you, um, you know, um, take care of your reptile properly. So yeah, give them a, is that it right here? L I L R E S Q. Yep. Okay, perfect. There you go. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, Mr. Kalman. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Oh man, the black hair oh. really brings it all. Oh, holy crap! I'm trying not to get those lines to fluoresce. I don't know. Oh. Not quite done. Missy no, deadline red, strikes again. The, <laughs> the, the red paper, though, that looks so great. Mm -hmm. Black on the red. Holy smokes. I'm going to keep working on this tonight until it's done. So, I don't know, maybe you can uh, post a photo in the feed or uh, the page tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, when it's finished. I'll put it up. Uh, yeah, I'll put it up tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, if you, if you want to work on it a bit longer, that's cool for sure. Um, we'll put it up and then, like I said, we're going to run it for a few days. So we'll run it till like Friday and, uh, yeah. And, uh, there's, there's going to be a lot of awesome, awesome pieces up. I'll, I'll send you guys the link when I put it up as well. If you want to share it out. Sure. Um, yeah, cool. Awesome. Oop. This was fun guys. I appreciate it. This was cool. So when are we talking about hockey? Are we doing this? Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, you got three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. The trade so deadline is soon, right? <laughs> yeah, and also, or or WrestleMania is coming up uh, this weekend too. Since Let's talk about WrestleMania. WrestleMania. That's my language. Yeah, we yeah. WrestleMania. Do we have to lower the ring again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very Who's, cool. What well, matches are everyone excited for? Yeah, like uh, the Bianca Belair and uh, and Sasha Banks is going to mm -hmm. be really solid, and uh, they're they're um, they're being they're the headliners for the first day, so that should be really cool. Who's oh, like I've been out of the wrestling thing for a while. Who's so are they headlining WrestleMania? Who's headlining WrestleMania? Well, since it's like a, it's going to be like a two day thing, right? So, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's going to be all on uh, Peacock or something like that. So for the weekend. And there's still uh, no audience, or uh, um, yeah, there are. To... There is going to be a certain amount of audience, uh, which is stressful. I think. Whoa. Because okay. it's in Tampa Bay. There's no rules in Florida. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I and um. I, I think it was what's what what is it, Megan? Like a three way match between the uh, It's a uh, triple threat between triple threat. the Edge, Roman and uh Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryant, yeah. Wait, didn't so, the Edge retire? Uh yeah, he came back. Uh Royal Rumble. He came back during the Royal Rumble and he won Royal Rumble. Oh no way. Oh yeah. maybe it was because he was filming uh Vikings. He was oh, on yeah. Vikings, right? No, no, he was uh injured he was retired for a while because he injured him uh he had a really serious injury. I think it's oh. like a neck or something. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, that'll uh, do but it. But he just came back. Christian came back even, but it, Christian's at AEW. Oh, I, lo I loved Edge and Christian. Yeah, they were the best. Three Canadian minute was guys, it? Three minute yeah. pros? Yeah, <laughs> three second pros. I don't know. Or something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, night one. Here we go. Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. 
Uh, Bad Bunny and Damon Priest. I don't even know some of these people. Bad <laughs> Bunny and Damon Priest. <laughs> the Bad Bunny kind of thing is weird, though, but, I mean... It is weird. weird. It's against The Miz? But, uh, I like and, The Miz, so... I'm to see it. Yeah. I know The Miz. Uh, Cesaro versus Seth Rollins, yeah. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. You gotta watch that one, because uh, every oh time he, Cesaro puts him in that spitting thing, it's so funny. <laughs> so funny. I, I, I dig his name. <laughs> uh, the New Day uh, against AJ Styles and Omos. Oh, yeah. That should be well, Oh, Shane McMahon is fighting again? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I'm excited for that match. I want Shane McMahon to play a fantastic heel. I can't wait to see his face just get kicked in. <laughs> it's in a steel cage match as well, like you guys. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's, uh, cool. it's going to be interesting, for sure. Okay, and then we have Roman Reigns, uh, Edge, and Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Uh, Asuka versus Ray Ripley. The Fiend. Oh, I like I'm that so guy. Psyched. Yeah, The Fiend and Randy Orton. Oh, I love Randy Orton. <laughs> uh, Biggie and Apollo Crews. Kevin Owens, uh, Sami Zayn. Uh, the Riddle versus Sheamus. Ah, uh, yes. I'm glad they have Sheamus around still. Um,. He's never left, I don't think. Dolph Ziggler? Did he? I thought he... No, maybe not. Okay. Dolph Ziggler? I just left. Uh, Robert Roode and the Street Profits. Yep. That's cool. So it's two nights. And there's also going to be a female tag team uh, Royal Rumble. And whoever wins that is going to face the female tag team champs. Nice. I love Royal Rumbles. Yeah, I always... My so good. Part is the do they do they do like the secret entry sometimes still? Yep. Yeah, I love those. This is my favorite. I can't remember who it was. They had like was it Snooka that came in one of the Royal Rumbles and like he could barely walk the poor guy. Or no, it was Iron <laughs> Sheik. And the poor guy is like it, it took him like ten minutes to get to the ring. Jeez. Poor dude. Well, at least there's like things going on, so you know you can kind of like mask the how long it needs to be taken. That's right. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> we'll check someone else over. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Very cool. All right, folks. It's 10.01. It's been a heck of a night. I appreciate uh, everything that's... Oh, we got some colors going down now. Oh, let's let's have one last look. It looks like... Did you add, Did you throw some more stuff on there, Danish? Um, not really. I'm just kind of like zigzagging here and there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's zigging, he's zagging. I'm just like <laughs> cross hitching and Chris hatching. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta mm -hmm. love that Chris hatch work. Yeah, yeah. Um, Very cool. Yeah, you know, I was drawing, I was like, oh, I'm done. Then I saw like how amazing everyone's work was, and I'm like, oh, I, maybe I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not done. <laughs> Uh, All right, so right. check out the auction tomorrow at the Fastball Special. Uh, I'll put the links uh, under the live feed here. And, uh, yeah, so not only are you going to get an awesome piece of, of art, but you're also helping a great cause. Oh, and uh, Megan, what what did I share with uh, everyone here? Is it oh. Studio Space? Yes. You and I were at uh, Comic Book Embassy together. Oh. Yeah. So not although, the cooties. Although I had forgotten that you were at Raid as well. How long were you at Raid for? Uh, it was only it was less than a year, and I, I was hoteling there. Um, but I think it was like way before you and I even knew each other. Um, so it makes sense that like it, you would not yeah, know. You came from Raid and then over to Embassy, right? Yep. That's, That's right. What happened. That's right. So more there. There's been more sharing apparently <laughs> that I was unaware. Of. <laughs> All sorts of sharing going on. So next week, you and I are back here with uh, Paul Lamenko, Martin. Paul Lamenko, Spotlight. And if folks want to tune in to uh, on Facebook, Sam Noir's Comics and Toys uh, live draw with Casey Parsons. We're going to be talking about uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon at eight o'clock uh, and uh, nerding out over Universal monster movies. One of my favorite Universal monsters, for the sure. The creature is awesome. 
Reach is awesome. Okay, folks, thanks everyone for tuning in and stay tuned for lots more coming up. Thanks, cheers. everyone. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. <laughs>